Hello, Jesse here with GPS City. I have the GPS map 400 series sounder in front of me. This video also applies to the 500 series and what we're going to do is take a look at the dashboards. To access the various dashboards in the unit, we're going to need to scroll down to information. Some of these dashboards will only show up if you have the appropriate sensor hooked up. I'm currently in demo mode, so we'll be able to see them all. So as we scroll up here, the first option we have is compass. So if we select it, you'll see that we have a compass rose here with a bunch of other data fields that are useful for our navigation, along with depth sounding at the very top right hand corner. So let's go back to the home page, select information, then dashboards. And now next we have numbers. If we select that, it's going to show us three data fields. We could actually change this to show up to six. To do that, just hit menu once, go down to configure, select it, and then we have the choice between three, four, five, and six. So we're going to just back out of here and go into our other dashboard. Now we have our trip computer. If we hit select, it's going to show us this trip computer. We can actually reset this by hitting menu once and then we have some options for reset. So let's go to one of our other dashboards now. Now we have fuel. This fuel dashboard does need an external sensor hooked up via the NEMA 2000 network. We could reset or fill up our tanks if we're running low by just going into menu and then we could fill up tanks, add fuel to boat, set total fuel on board and then we could also do our gauge setup through here also. So definitely check these menus out and play with them a few times to get a feel for them. Now we have our engine. Again we're going to need the appropriate sensors hooked up but we could see our RPMs of the various engines if we have more than one on board. We could also see our trim fuel lever level here and plus our gas economy. The last option we have is wind. We're going to need a Garmin weather station in order to get this information viewing properly but you can see here with the weather station you get some pretty cool info. So that's a quick look at some of the dashboards available to you in the Garmin GPS Map 4 and 500 series sounders.